Hi guys, welcome back to DAT. In this video today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the brand new Beater FPV Light Radio Free. There it is, get my face out of the way. We're gonna be doing a unboxing, we're gonna do a quick overview, and we're gonna go through some settings and their new configurator as well. Stay there, guys. So here's the controller. Before we just get into this, I've gone for the FR Sky version. So this is the FR Sky version of the controller. They do do an Express LRS one with built-in Express LRS, which is quite a nice controller, but I've gone for the FR Sky version because it does come with a module bay on the back. I'm looking to purchase an actual external module for Express LRS and doing some reviews and tests with that as well. So I've gone for this, so I get the best of both worlds really, and that's why. So, and also all my whoops are FR Sky anyway, so. I thought it'd be better to get this one. So let's get her open and see what we actually get. This is exactly how she comes. Do notice there's an actual build day or a birthday on these boxes as well. So this is when it was created. So this was December last year, 23rd. So pretty new. Open her up. You get your standard QR code. I hate QR codes, but there they are. I don't think they're gonna go away. Little instruction manual. So this will tell you what's in it and how to use it and stuff like that. So that's quite nice to have. Here's the radio itself. Get her open, nicely packaged by the way, you know, really nice, protected and stuff like that. So nothing to worry about in the post. Check that on the floor. And here's the actual radio. And there's your first look at her. Let's put her in that one as well. Get my face out of the way. And straight off the bat, she's really nice. Comes with these um, gimbals as well, gimbal protectors, which I didn't realize she actually came with. So that is a really nice surprise for me. And they're great, just for putting on. When you put finish for the day, put those on your actual sticks, check in your bag, and that actually protects your gimbals from getting smashed around. So a real nice little thing to have. It is the little things on, on it, isn't it, sometimes, that just make a product nice. I do like that. So there you go. Off the bat, she's a little bit chunkier than the Light Radio 2 but she fits very nicely in the hand actually, very comfortable. And she's obviously got switches. So there's three position switches. These two are three positions. And these are push buttons. So they are actually buttons, it's not a momentary switch. Very nice. Yeah, it's quite a bit chunkier actually. These gimbals are supposed to be a bit more improved or they're supposed to withstand and you can raise these up. There you go, you can adjust them as well to whatever position you like. So if your hands are a bit taller, well, you like it like that. Very nice little feature. And then tighten them up. So yeah, just to compare, I've got the actual Light Radio 2. So this is the Light Radio 2. So that's the top. And the sides. So you can see there it is a bit chunkier. But I actually prefer the size of this. It feels a lot nicer in the hand. So yeah, I do prefer that. And you've got a lanyard attachment as well. So that's really nice. All these little radios are actually missing the lanyard attachment. It's really quite annoying. You have to hold them. I do like attaching a lanyard myself and just hanging it there. You don't have to worry about it so much. But that's quite nice to have. It's not a perfectly positioned lanyard, so it does sit slightly like that, it doesn't sit completely flat like some of the more expensive controllers but it's still very nice to have it. So, there you go, what else is on here? You've got a headphone jack on here, you've got a USB-C connector, you've got your bind button and you've got your setup button. And also what they've done is they've released some software, their own Beta FPV configurator, which actually where you can actually calibrate these sticks and we will take a look at that in a minute. For now though, we're going to quickly go over some specs and how you actually bind it and how you actually change the actual protocol in here. So as I said, this is the um, FR Sky version. It has uh, five different settings you can actually use on it. It has two D16 modes, it has a D8 and a Futaba, but also it has a setting for you to be able to use the expansion bay on the back. So let's quickly go through those now and how you actually change and use them. The power button on the front, if you press it slightly and let go, it will show you what mode you're in. So if you press hold, one red flash, that indicates to me that it is in D16, 
FCC mode. And if you want to change that to D16 LBT, you hold this bind button with your little prodder, press hold, and then hold down the power button. One, two, two red flashes. That is now in D16 LBT mode. D16 LBT is for Europe. D16 FCC, which is one red flash, is for America, that side of the world. Two flashes, LBT, Europe, and us. I'm in Europe. So that is the one that I mostly use for D16. To change it again, press and hold. Hold the power. One, two, three. That is now in D8 mode. D8 mode is a popular mode to use that all the tiny, all the little whoops use and stuff like that. So all the tiny little stuff and the happy model things, they all use a D8 kind of mode. So that'll be a probably popular one for this. And to get it into the Futaba mode, you do the same process again. Press that, press in the bind button, hold, one, two, three, four. Four flashes, it's now in the Futaba mode. I've never used Futaba in my life, to be honest with you. One more, just to get it into the actual mode to be able to use the actual expansion bay. Press hold the bind, press this. This will actually go purple this time. One. Purple flash means it is actually using the expansion bay now. So if you had the Express LRS or you had Crossfire or something like that, you could be using that. And that's what would be powering and controlling your quads. So there you go, That uh, that is the protocols and the things that are in there. And now, Beta Flight have Beta Flight. It's not Beta Flight, is it? It's um, Beta FPV. There's too many betas going on. They've got their own configurator for this, so let's take a quick look at that now. So this is the Beta FPV's configurator. You can get this from the link below. I'll link it down below. So use that if you like, or go direct to their website. You can download the software, install it. It comes in Mac and PC, so pretty useful for everyone. And to actually connect up to it, you need to keep your controller off. Do not power it on. Leave it off. Get your USB-C lead, plug it in. There you can hear it's sort of my PC's whirling away. Now here's the configurator itself. Uh, click to activate the configurator for the radio, press that button, and then press this button up here, and it will connect to the controller, and here you go. Here are all the settings. So you get to see all your switches, And you can see them here quite nice. I thought this was quite a nice little thing actually, because before you, to try and actually update the um, Light Radio 2 was an absolute nightmare. But this configurator, it seems to be pretty nice to be honest with you. There's a place where you can actually adjust the sticks. So if they're slightly off or they've moved, you can actually offset them and it does adjust the actual position. If your calibration doesn't work, there is a calibration mode as well that you can do to actually reset these sticks. And if that doesn't work, you can actually offset it and slightly adjust where they lie. So that's a really nice feature. You can also adjust all of these things. You can change them if you wanted to. You've got your modes as well. You can change it to mode one if you wanted to. So if you wanted to actually have your throttle over here, you can do pretty much everything on this configurator. It's a really, really nice thing. So yeah, all your settings there, everything you can change and you can update it. So that is a really, really nice configurator. Quite impressed with that. So that's a nice thing. A nice a thing that was actually missing in the light radio too. That's a really nice configurator. That is about all I've got to say about it. It's very nice. You can adjust all your sticks. That's all you need. So let's go over a quick bind procedure for this radio. It's very simple to do. I'm going to use my Mobula 6 as an example for you. And this is operating in a D8. So it's, if you remember, it's three red flashes. It's D8 mode on this. We need to change that. We need to power this up and turn the actual radio on as well. So let's get this into actual buy mode. Plug in a battery. Find the buy button, press that. Press it properly. Still haven't pressed it. There, solid red with a flash green. That is in buy mode, ready to go. Leave that there. And let's figure out what mode this is in. One pink flash or purple flash, that means it's using the external module bay. So we need three flashes. So press hold. Press hold. One flash. That's D16. Do it again. One, two. That's another D16 mode. One, two, three. That is in D8 mode. That is in the D8 mode to connect to this quad. So that's ready to go. So to power this on, long press. 
So I just raised the throttle there because I wanted to show you this. Long press turns it on, the throttle raised, you'll get a red light. That is not ready to go. You need to pull the throttle down, you'll get the blue light ready to go. So that is in D8 mode. All we need to do now is I need to hold this up here so you can see these lights as well. Watch the lights here, watch the light here. We're going to press the bind button while it's on and it will go into bind mode. Flashing here and you can see the lights flashing on the quad. It is that simple. That is actually just bound. So just to prove it is bound. There we go. Simple as that. You may come across a, an issue where this red light flashes on your quad if maybe your sticks are in the wrong position. I've done another video of that. I'll link that into this video as well. Do check that out if you're having issues. Also, do comment down below. I do try to get back to everyone. If you've got some problems or a question, I will do my best to answer them all. There you go, guys. Hope you found that of use. I really like this little radio, to be honest with you. I've, I like the actual radio too, or the light radio too. The only complaint about it was that these switches were too close when you're actually flying and it was easy to knock them and switch them off. But with these rocker switches and these buttons, I think they've corrected that and that's really nice. And it does, this does fit in the hand so much better than that one actually. It's a little bit chunkier, which is quite nice. And it'd be fine for firming and you're also still capable to do it with a pinch as well. Very nice. Hope you found that video use guys. Do it the thumbs up, do it the subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.